Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to sell precisely when CCI is still uh, oversold. So a lot of traders will be wondering, Joe, you asking me to sell when the CCI is oversold? Yes, sometimes one can sell when the CCI is oversold. And you want to know exactly what to look for when the CCI is oversold. When can we sell? That is the question. When should we buy and when can we sell? So we're going to talk about when can we sell when the CCI is oversold. So there are two things that the price is doing all the time, all right? All the time, most of the time, 90% of the time. What the price doing? The price will break above a key level and then we'll retest it. That's the first thing that the price is doing all the time. And you want to look with that, you want to trade that, you want to pay attention to that, you want to work with that. All right? Sometime, so that's the first thing that the price is doing 90% of the time. Okay? Another time, the price will break below a key level and then we'll retest it. So either it's breaking above it, retesting it, so it breaks above it with a many candlestick bar. Sometimes you may be just one candlestick bar up and then retest with another candlestick bar. Here you can see many candlestick bar breaking above it and a few candlestick bar to retest it. Here you can see that one candlestick bar break below that key level, all right? And one candlestick bar retesting here. If you see this scenario here, by breaking below a key level and retesting that key level, all right, while the CCI is in the overshoot zone, all right, something you can see uh, it went to 121, all right, here, all right, 145. So CCI is in overshoot zone. The price breaks below a key level, either with many candlestick bar, and then retest it with a few candlestick bar, or one candlestick bar breaking below it, and then one candlestick bar retesting it. So when you see that though the CCI is overshot, because some people bought it here, you think that, oh, it's going up now, it's going up now. But it just retest the key level, so you want to be careful. So the best approach will be, you'll be saying to yourself, priority to bullish signal above that key level, a priority to bearish signal below it. So if it breaks above, which we, now we want something like this, either we want candlestick bar, another one candlestick bar to retest it, or few candlestick bar out, a few candlestick bar to retest it. That's what the price means. So if you want to buy here, either it breaks above it, and then retest it, all right? And then common settle is broken. So breaks above, retest, common settle is broken, now, implement a different time frame trading method to trade it. Don't just buy or sell. Use the different time frame trading method. If there is no signal after the setup, well, you can't even pretend to go to the entry time frame. Yes or no? So, this is a nice scenario. This is a specific time when we can sell when a CCI is still overshot. Price breaking below a key level and falling in resistance. So as you read this kind of see bar here is closed on that time frame, I'm on the monthly chart frame here, all right? And the financial instrument that we are trading today is a, a is it Abbeville? Abbeville, okay? Epic uh, Alpha Bravo Bravo V, Alpha Bravo Bravo Victor, all right? Belonging to the healthcare sector. So after that KDC buy is closed, all right, we'll go to the daily chart, all right, looking for the trading signal, all right, that's it. And then people saw it here, you see, they saw it now, so they saw it, so they, what has happened here, you can see that uh, the price, you see, this is it. So CCI will is rising above the central line, which is the zero line, that zero line is corresponding to the moving of a 14, because we are using the CCIP of 14, you can see here. Now the price pull back below the zero line, and below the moving of a 14, CCI also did below the zero line. 
until he reaches the washo zone. Right? A reaches the washo zone means that it's at a support level. Now, if the price truly, truly finds support, a trader will implement a top down trading method to buy. That's why trader who use a top down trading method after this break below, expecting a rally to retest, they receive a signal to buy. So they bought it, they push it there. They know that this is a retest, they came out. Now they are waiting to sell if you find a resistance. Here it is coming down, though the CCI is still in overshoot zone. So understand, all right? If, for instance, the CCI is below the zero line, uh, if the CCI is in the overshoot zone, and the price breaks above a key level, and find a support, we will attempt to buy it. On the contrary, if the CCI is still overshot, but the price break below a key level and retest it and find a resistance, well, we look for an opportunity to sell it. We will not just sell it, we implement a different type of trading method to sell it. So some traders may say, Joe, you talk about this 100 times, and I will say to those traders, this is applicable to this talk, ABV, EPIC ABBV, for traders that are interested in trading this, you can see that it went, so in fact, you can see here, the moving at 14 is representing the zero line, and now it's coming near the moving at 50, it's a support level, it's dynamic, a support level, while well, it's finding a support. So they sold it on the edge of the moving average 14, now it's near the edge of the moving average at 50. Try can again, if he doesn't find a support, he may do similar thing again, he may go a below the moving average at 50, and then after that, he will try to retest it. Sometimes he will not retest it, but 90% of the time, that's what the private will do. Sometimes you will just continue to go down more, but 90% of the time you will see that either no more support and resistance level or dynamic support and resistance level, talking about moving averages. All right, you see here? So you can break below that, retest again. The CCI will stay overshown, and then one can again implement a different time to the metal to sell it down. All right? On the contrary, because overshown means now we are support level. So here we are now. Okay, so here we are. So in order to avoid, okay, violating the market uh, pattern, you see. Okay, you see the market pattern. This is a common trading mistake. Connected this point and this one, roughly, roughly, we have a common settle line. So that's why, as, as the, that common settle line, the price is still below it. So if one is buying below that common settle line on the daily, on the monthly chart, right, one is taking a tricky race or one is a little bit aggressive. So aggressive trader is uh, a trader that is aware of the risk but want to take the train and knows how to control the, the risk. This is what we call aggressive trader. It's not about the gambling. It's, it's a control. The person knows, well, this one is not good. It's not good time to buy. It's not best way to buy. But there is a signal to buy. Okay, I will control it carefully. Sometimes it will work nicely, all right? So, the only time one will really, really be happy to buy is when the price breaks above that declining trend line and retest it or form a first higher low above that declining channel. Or, okay, price exhibiting bullish pattern above that declining channel. All right. So if you go now to the hourly time frame, uh, daily chart frame, you can see that we have a declining chart, no question about it, okay? This is what we are talking about. The violation of the market pattern, very important. Okay, so here it is, all right? So if it goes above that channel, one will switch into market geometry mode, all right? Go to www.dprotrader.com, learn to master market geometry, all right? Here it is, we can do that. Okay, anytime you have a channel, you just for the media line again. All right, 
So right now, on the daily chart, that's what we got now. So some people are selling here, so a kind of a consolidation uh, happening here, but the price is now on the edge here. So we can pop below again, break below, retest. That's what you are looking for all the time, all right? Break below, retest. Break above, retest. Common satellite is broken. Use TSCW as well as use your 8. Use TSCW 24. Okay? All right? So if you go to the hourly time frame, yeah, here it is. That consolidation is becoming very clear on the hourly time frame. So if I connect uh, this low and this one here, all right? So anytime you change time frame, just draw a channel. Just draw a channel. So on the hourly time frame, this channel, okay? And the media line, there they So what they are doing now, because the market is still open, see, this is what we are talking about here. Break below. <laughs> you see that? So it did, in fact, here, see, here. break below, or it test the media line, they sold it down. Now again, it retests, commercial is broken, and sell it down. Two things. The price between 90% of the time is breaking above the key level, retested it, all right? Or break below, retest. But you want to follow the step correctly, all right? So you want to understand the step correctly. Breaks above, retest, common satellite is broken, implement different time frame trading method. So the different time frame trading method will allow you to control the risk. If the signal fell, you close the trade. So there is a time frame for the trading setup, a time, another different time frame for the signal, and another different time frame for the entry. All right, so this will conclude our discussion today about how to sell precisely when CCI is still overshold. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up if you dislike it, be sure to mark it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Any question? Any lament? All right. Let us know in the comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. To learn more about uh, CCI trading, check our playlist at the Pro Traders YouTube channel playlist about uh, CCI trading. Okay, be sure to subscribe to our channel, the Pro Traders. Click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Go to www.dayprotrader.com to master CCI trading and also market geometry. So this will conclude our discussion today about how to sell precisely uh, when CCI is still overshot. The financial instrument that we are analyzing today is a healthcare sector, EPIC, uh, all right, healthcare sector stock, EPIC, ABBV, Alpha, Bravo, Bravo, a victim. Thank you for watching, and I will speak to you soon. Happy trading to you all. Break below, retest, stand up. Okay, break below, retest, Como Centralite is broken. Implement a top down three meter to say, you see, 50 minutes after it's happening all over the place. Or, thank you for watching.